Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Play Again. Today we're going to talk about a game called Alien Soldier, which in my recent memory is probably one of the hardest games we will ever play. Oh my gosh, it's so, so hard. And this is not like, this is not like brat hard like um, Alien 3 was. It wasn't like it was just glitchy or, you know, the aliens were just unfair. This is just like legitimately hard. Skill hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You just can't also, it's worth noting that this is not sped up. This is real-time gameplay. Yes. Yeah. No. This is how fast. This is how fast your character goes, and this is how fast the aliens come at you. Okay. So it's worth noting here, right? So at the start of the game, I had to choose four different weapons. Now, you get stuck with those four different weapons throughout the entirety of the game, and you can mm. only change it if you're picking up those power-ups. You'll notice also at the top of the screen, I have a force bar. And that force bar applies to each of the different weapons, so each weapon has its own force bar and when it runs out you can't use that weapon anymore so you have to change and then change to another weapon and then that gradually gets its force back. So not only do you have to worry about how incredibly fast the game is going, you also have to think about micromanaging your weapons and then changing them on the fly while trying not to get hit. <laughs> it's crazy! It's and yes, that was the first boss already defeated within what? A minute? Yeah, like it's just so crazy, and it took us forever in order to actually beat that first boss. Yeah, until but I figured out you could basically yeah, instant kill it. Yeah, you seem to do it pretty easily in this this run through. So if you have full health, then you get the option to have that special move. Mm. But obviously, it only works if you have full health. Yeah, which obviously is also very hard to keep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every single time you kill an enemy legitimately you uh, get a little health pickup. And they're really freaking helpful. Yeah, because otherwise you like, can't really get any health back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, praying mantis boss quick thing. <laughs> it's so flippin' harsh, because you have to... Like, you can only hit, hurt this guy, really, by hitting him in the upper torso. And, like, okay, so my weapon's run out of um, ammunition now, so I've got to change weapon while trying to evade his attacks, which is... Just, Ah, oh, it's crazy. If you if you press yeah. one wrong button, you'll take damage. It's so insane. And it's so fast paced, oh my gosh. Just getting back to that, it's just like ridiculous. And weapons run out again, gotta change. <laughs> uh, go on. He just jumps right on your head, man. No, I changed the weapon with no Force. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at him doing those flips. Oh. See, oh, well. the thing I love about this screen is that they blatantly know you're gonna die over and over again. So they even have like a, a game over screen that tells you how many times you failed. Is <laughs> <laughs> it you failed? You suck. Just kind of rubbing it in. What are those things? Like, it it kind of looks like something. I don't really want to say. It's kind of dirty, but yeah, it looks really weird. And those like are little fly things. Yeah, generally, and that kind of looks like Slimer. Yeah, I mean, generally it's easiest to just kind of skip through the smaller parts just to get to the boss. Definitely. But even then, you run the risk of getting hurt by one of them and then having to go in with. Not very much help. Well, I mean, it's like that weapon, for example. It uses up a ridiculous amount of force per shot. So, I mean, what this means is if you miss a shot, then it takes a long time for you to actually get the force back in order to do another one. Oh, so it makes the game even harder. <laughs> Pretty much is what you're saying. Yep. I mean, like there, I mean, uh... I, I, I warped at the wrong time and fortunately froze then. Yeah. I mean, you can see how oh, little some of these weapons do. I mean, that one is just its doing next to nothing to him. I love how he just, like, runs off and he's just like, Yay! Come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> no way! You're running away! Okay! I'll run this way! Um, oh, no, he's doing I've his martial one health. law moves again. One health! Oh, no! Oh, you are on a fine edge, my boy. Fine edge. Uh. <gasps> oh, my weapon's running out. No way! Oh, gosh! Ah. Yeah. Get in there. 
<laughs> Boss number you two out of the way. You are one lucky person. One out of like 500 health. I can't actually remember how many bosses there are. There's, there, there are a ton. Really? Yeah. It's, I mean, you, you so can see on the on the game over the screen. Not only game, but there's also like a ton that you have to do. So. Well, the funny thing is, if you go to the options menu, you can change it between two difficulty modes: super easy and super hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even the super easy is hard. Like nothing about this game is really easy at all. I mean, so this is just a normal fast. enemy, and. Uh, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like in Final Fantasy X when you run into oh what are they called the ones with like a thousand eyes. Do you remember what they called? Yeah, something like that. Marlboros. It's I don't like know. these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, Marlboros. And where I'm going with that is just the fact that it's a normal enemy, except it can kill you just like that. It is super, super, super hard. Well, the thing I hate about this one is it just kind of spams those little orbs at you and like by the time you've jumped mm. to evade them I mean like you've got to change weapons on the fly you can't like if you jump you get you get yeah you get you run into one of those little time. green guys <gasps> it's like well I mean I haven't even done half of this thing's health and he's just completely raping me uh, stupid eye of doom <sighs> eyes of doom <laughs> Oh dear. I wonder how many hours people have like logged into this, people who have actually beaten it. I mean I was watching some yeah. walkthroughs online and and uh, you know, people have gone through like stages one to four without dying and stuff, but then they know like exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Like they've kind of memorized it. Yeah. I mean kinda of like how I killed the first boss within without like uh with like in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Like sure. there's ways that you can do things. You know the pattern and you know what the boss is going to do and Also it's all a matter of choosing the right weapons like right from the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's a really really horrible thing cuz like I mean there's a there's a flamethrower that's homing but it does like almost no damage so it's actually mm -hmm. quite useless in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So really knowing your weapons is also like critical in this game. It's actually like this game is pretty freaking intense and awesome. Like, if you really think about it, how much went into it. Yeah, and like the amount of multitasking you have to do. Alien Soldier is certainly a challenging game, as it not only makes you think about alternating weapons, but also dodging projectiles at the same time. It's not necessarily one for the faint of heart, but we definitely suggest it for anybody who's looking for a challenge. So thank you for listening and watching. This has been a GameUnion.net production.